In the skies above Tripoli Airport, no planes have been seen for a week, just smoke and rocket fire. Rival militias armed with missiles, rockets and tanks have been locked in ferocious battles here. Fresh clashes broke out on Sunday after ceasefire efforts failed, the fighting at its most intense since it began last Monday. Many living near the airport have been trapped by the fighting as rebel gunmen perched on rooftops above them exchange gunfire. Those who are able to leave are doing so in their thousands. So who is it fighting for control? Well, on one side, fighters from the western city of Zintan and their allies. They're loosely linked to nationalist political groups and they've controlled Tripoli airport since the ousting of Colonel Gaddafi three years ago. On the other side, Islamist-led rebels, including many fighters from Misrata. This isn't a clear-cut battle of ideologies, though. A turf war that's been brewing in Tripoli for a long time is at the heart of the fighting. Numerous rebel groups control swathes of the country, and the government is unable to disarm them. In fact, it pays many of the militiamen, hoping they'll switch loyalties and help build a new national army. But there seems little hope of that happening, and the airport standoff is possibly the most serious violence in Tripoli since the 2011 uprising. At least 50 people have been killed in the past week. The clashes have suspended most international flights from Libya and prompted the UN to pull its staff out of this deeply unstable country. Emily Thomas, BBC News.